We are at Hard Slock Stadium, home of the Krakens in Diami, Florida. A city where the temperature is over 100 and the IQ is in the low teens <laughs> at best. Then don't poke fun at the fans. They're loyal. Therapists call it delusional. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Nashville Lycans battle. The Diami Krakens. Welcome to MFL game day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. Second and three. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mound. Oh, that guy? Or is it that one? Or oh, that one over there? Now just follow the screams, Bricks. Oh, yeah, that's way easier. Thanks, Grim. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. And a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. 
Third down, and the punter is warming up. Three yard catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a lot. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Second down and two. First and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And that'll be second down and four. somehow and hold on for the first down. This well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm sad to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. <laughs> Second down and a lot. And the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Yeah, <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. It certainly left skid marks. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hey! And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. 
Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. Second and three. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. Yeah, my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. They get their hands up and block the pass. Second down and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? That's short of this whole... Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled-up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. A killer it was right there and then he dropped it oh scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league second down and ten <laughs> and he rumbles for nine on that play and that'll bring up third and one and he just used his beast boost dirty trick and, and that was a bone crusher right there folks and this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range Whoa. looks like a pass and it's bouncing right back oh man he shanked that there goes my spread And it's first and ten. He turned into a mutant fireball with that flame on dirty trick. And anything he touches gets floppy. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. Jets on and caught him from behind. And it's first and ten. Take all you mute.
Pete was out. That's right. What you talking about? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. He's not going down. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first. And they take their last timeout. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? And that is caught for a first down. First down and nine. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. If you think his dancing is bad, you should have been here in the old days. He used to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf once, Grim. He damn near clawed my face off. That was before the class even started. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Second down and two. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell? And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Second down, and that's the last timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the idea. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify.
Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! is ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. Second down and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third down and ten. First down. And it's first and ten. That ball just slides through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That's Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. The brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to made it the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Hot, one, <laughs> hot two. Hot. a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four.
Third down and, well, good luck. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Ballsy, stupid maybe? I guess we'll decide after we see how this goes, but probably stupid. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pet. If you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick, you're going to lose, pal. You kind of deserve it if you're this dense, Grim. First down and five. The defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Touchdown! You know what? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. He wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. <laughs> and the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is, ah, I forgot my point. Touchdown! And he rumbled that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's Cooper Knight and Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. Oh. On account of not clenching and kicks. No. <laughs> Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. And then Cats will give them a first down. First and ten. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Oh, I'm going to get it. And then I'm going to get it. I'm 
Second down in a very lot. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell here. It might be time to change the channel. I think Heidi's playing on Superstation WKRP. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Glenn? Aren't we all? And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The kicker's gonna have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. Perfect kick and recovery by the kicking team. And it's first and ten. He picks up nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out. First down. First down and one. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkeys getting wrapped in on his backside from that bad bird he had last year. <laughs> Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. A lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does he like original or extra crispy? Now it looks like extra crispy. And that's three consecutive first downs. First down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 
The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stop all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Uh, well, that has weird side effects, Bricks. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserk. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And the defense scrummed it out and came up with the ball. Goal! Never do that again, Bricks. I'll shoot you in the head. But people like it. <laughs> well, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Hot one, hot two, hot three.
Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porter, John, in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. <laughs> well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. That's right, folks. It's all tied up, and we are headed to overtime. I don't know how many players are left alive, but the rest are headed to sudden death. They should call this game Mutant Death League. Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Boom! And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Third and two. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Second down in a lot. It's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Third down and long. Punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. That one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Cause he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Oh, 
with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 It was a risky throw, and the defense made him pay. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Coleman about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. And that'll be second and eight to go. And it's first and ten. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. Scrambler. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Third down in forever. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. Nice cap. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. Hot. Hot one. Bricks. Yep. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pegrim. You're right. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And 
and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And they went to the air and came up big. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. Or at least it seems like it. He just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. say maybe three yards but a tough three yards second down and seven just follow the bloody footprints to the new line that's a first down and it's first and ten Defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback's gonna be hurting or dead. <laughs> 
Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. And it's first and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because yeah, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard and shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.